check this out. Supreme Force Fighting's request for a $50,000 loan to expand into a women's league was just turned down. Oh, and look at the co-signer on the loan, Tina Allens. Funny, she never mentioned she was a part owner. It's a bet for $10,000 on Hackett to lose last night's fight. He was a heavy favorite, so this slip is worth 50 grand, except the bet wasn't made by Willingham. It was made by Tina Allens. Now, why would she trust him with this? And how'd she know Hackett would lose? What do you need? Willingham already confessed. You guys find something new? Tina, Tina, Tina. You can't bet on fighters in your own league. This is enough to bring her in, but we still have to find out if she's involved with the killings. Ms. Allens, as you may know, Horace Willingham confessed to the murders of Rick Shimada and Hank Hackett. But we have reason to believe that you may know more about this than you're letting on. I know exactly as much as I'm letting on. Namely, nothing at all. If he confessed, then he must have done it. What? I look good in a bikini so I can't possibly own a business? I know just as much about the League as anyone, if not more. Why shouldn't I be a co-owner? That's right. About time, too. A woman can do anything a man can do. Anything? Look, this is Vegas. If you call someone in for questioning every time they make a bet, then I can understand why we've got so many unsolved murders in this city. Alright, and what were you planning to do with your winnings? Start that women's league? What if I was? Everybody's gotta lose someday. Hackett sure lost today, all right. Look, there's a reason they call it gambling. I just made a lucky guess. I just made a lucky guess. Sure, I put the props away every night, but no one ever got murdered before. Besides, by the time Shimada was killed, the prop closet was locked and I had no way to get in there. The prop closet was locked, and I had no way to get in there. He did. I hate to see Horace go to prison, but this mess is his own fault. No, I never came near Shimada or Hackett. No, I never came near Shimada or Hackett. The prop closet was locked, and I had no way to get in there. Look, I'm obviously not a lawyer, but I know that doesn't prove anything. We'll talk more once we've found some definitive evidence. He did. I hate to see Horace go to prison, but this mess is his own fault. No, I never came near Shimada or Hackett. I just made a lucky guess. I just made a lucky guess. I don't know what that means. What's the deal? I picked up Miss Allen's personal effects when we booked her.
Some odd kind of prescription medication. No label, but it does have an ID number. We could look this up in the medical database, but we'd need a warrant to access her medical records first. I wonder what this could be a key for. is that? Pranicillum, an immunosuppressant. Why would she need that? Well, we could always ask her. Those are keys to the same lock. That's a... Uh, that's just something I take for my acne. What do you care? Acne, huh? I don't think prednisolone is used for that. Lucky for us, we've got a doctor in the morgue who can tell us whether you're lying. The prop closet was locked, and I had no way to get in there. All right, yes, I had my own copy of the key. I am a co-owner, after all. But just because I had a key doesn't mean I used it. Fine. Prednisolone? No, that would be a very bad idea. Whoever told you that is either very misinformed themselves or willfully misinforming you. I think Brass will want to hear this. He loves it when people willfully misinform. Yeah? What in her medical history has any bearing on this case? She was lying about this. What else is she lying about? Go ahead and look up those medical records. Oh. 
Let's see here. Apparently, Tina had an artificially high androgen level, which caused severe premature hair loss. The prednisolone was prescribed as an immunosuppressant for an experimental hair transplant procedure. But get this, they couldn't find a suitable spot on her scalp to get the hair follicles, so they transplanted follicles from another person entirely. Which means the DNA in her hair doesn't match the rest of her DNA. We've been comparing the hair at the crime scene to the wrong DNA all along. gave you a DNA sample. Yes, but it's not your DNA we want. Finally, it was Tina all along. Let's give her the good news.
No, I never came near Shimada or Hackett. You were at the scene of both crimes. William copped to it. But it was you who overheard Shimada say he was going to the press. You who grabbed the katana and attacked him with it. And you who strangled him with the microphone cord when the katana broke. And then it was you who injected Hackett with a toxic chemical to keep him quiet. All because you wanted that woman's leg no matter what the cost. Of course we have Willingham's confession. He'll probably just get life in prison. But then again, he might get his own lethal injection. He did all that for you. You're not just business partners. He must really love you. Are you gonna let him fall on his sword like that? You were pulling the strings the whole time, weren't you? I bet you even coached Willingham on his confession. Are you really that good? It was me and me alone. I take full responsibility. I, Tina Allens, killed them both. Hey, great working with you on this case. Can you believe it? Two murders, two confessions, one killer. I could say they'll get easier, but I'd be lying. Good job, you two. Case closed with minimal overtime. Just the way the taxpayers like it. Now go home and get some rest. You've earned it.